Welcome, I'm Maddox Kilgore at the Law Offices of Kilgore and Rodriguez in Marietta. And today I'm talking to David Willingham, who is a candidate for the judge of, state, of the State Court of Cobb County. So welcome, David. Welcome. And, uh, oh, we're, we're sitting, Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, you're welcome. So we're sitting the appropriate uh, uh, safe distance sure. apart. Um, so you and I have known each other a long time, obviously, uh, seen each other in court and whatnot. Uh, but a lot of the voters might not know you, so could you introduce yourself sure. to everyone? I'm David Willingham. I'm running to be your next Cobb County State Court Judge. I've got my own law practice here in Marietta. Uh, my wife and three daughters, we live in Marietta. And prior to becoming a private attorney, I served as an assistant district attorney for Cobb County under two administrations, meaning I prosecuted felonies here. Right. Well. Uh, David, I want to get right to it and ask you a question sort of pertinent about what's going on sure. right now, and that's, of course, the COVID-19 health crisis. Sure. And the question is really, what have we learned, or rather, what have you learned that you think might could help you run a more efficient courtroom? Well, what I've learned is what I kind of already suspected, mm -hmm. which was that there were opportunities for increased efficiency and effectiveness in our courtroom. Um, this crisis has lit a fire under several folks in the system. The sheriff, all the judges, the prosecutors, the defense lawyers, the administrators, the staff. Uh, it's lit a fire to make people wake up and say, okay, are there any people in the jail that maybe they don't need to be there and we can let them out to probation or release them to some other uh, facility uh, or put them off ankle monitor or go ahead and close their case so that we don't have uh, this horrible disease infecting the jail, including the staff uh, and the sheriff's deputies. So when I first uh, decided I was going to do this and run for judge, and by the way, we have great people in Cobb County. We have the best uh, judicial circuit in the state of Georgia. It's probably one of the best in the country. But again, when I started out to do this, I knew that there were opportunities where we could do better. Uh, there are opportunities for more efficiency and more effectiveness. And what I mean by that is we just have to work harder. Um, I'm a very hard worker. I've been working since I was 15 years old. And unfortunately, and this is not to speak ill of any judges here in Cobb County, but we have judges that don't take the bench on time. And we lose 30 or 45 minutes where important work could be getting done. Um, we have other uh, folks in uh, their official capacities where they're not doing as much as they could be. And I don't mean that uh, personally towards them. I, I say that it's constructive criticism. We have to work hard and we have to work smart. And this crisis has forced us to really do that mm -hmm. because we're getting people out of the jail and nobody's getting off light. It's not that we're excusing behavior but it's forcing us to really take out that magnifying glass and say, okay, what can we do to get some of these people out, to move the ball down the field on some of these cases so that we lower the risk to the community? So I think in doing this, many people in our system are seeing how that extra work, which should really be the norm, it shouldn't, it shouldn't seem like it's going above and beyond, but putting this extra elbow grease into the work can have good results. You know, as a judge, you, you, you've got to sentence people if they're convicted of a crime. Um, meaning you have to either send them to jail, put them on probation, issue them a fine or whatever. Uh, Georgia law does not say that you're supposed to emphasize punishment over deterrence or punishment over rehabilitation. There's punishment, rehabilitation, and deterrence and each one of those things are equal in the eyes of the law. And so I think what this crisis has taught us is that perhaps we need to be looking more at rehabilitation, people with mental health issues, people with drug addiction issues, things like that, as opposed to simply punishing them, quote unquote, um, and putting them into a system uh, with no resources and no wherewithal to succeed. Um, and I want the public to understand that we're not letting anybody off lightly during this crisis. What we're doing is we're just taking a closer look. We're taking a closer look at cases because of the health and safety of folks at the jail. But I, I can attest to this. 
uh, the people in our system right now working through this crisis, by the way, they're part of the, the team of heroes out there because they're putting their lives at risk working every day in the court system to move the cases, but um, they, they're using good judgment, Maddox, and they're really moving these cases, but they're doing it prudently, and I think they're showing good wisdom and good judgment. And so I applaud the Cobb County judicial system for what they're doing, and I think after this is all over, that it needs to be the norm. We need to be looking at these cases under a microscope. We don't need to procrastinate the adjudication of cases. I think courts should start at 8.30. I don't mm -hmm. think it should start at 9 o'clock. I don't know if the lawyers are going to be too excited about that. <laughs> but I'd say this, whatever, t whatever time court starts, I'm going to be there five minutes early. That's just who I am. I'm a very hard worker. Well, so. David, we've um, we just got a couple of seconds left. Sure. you got like any final word that you want to say to the voters in Cobb County? Sure. Well, again, thank you so much for the opportunity. I would be honored for your consideration for a vote. Again, it's David Willingham. The website is votewillingham.com. I want to run an efficient court that's effective, that makes good common sense decisions. And I look forward to earning your vote on May 19th. Well, thank you for being here. Today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.